and children are being killed and slaughtered and sniped with precise snipers and uh, villages and homes have been destroyed Allah says in the Quran wala nablu wannakum bi shay'in wala khawfi wal ju'i wa naqsi min amwali wal anfusi wal thamarat will bring upon you test uh, of loss of life loss of wealth loss of children uh, loss of food insecurity everything wa bashir as-sabirin and give glad tidings to those who have patience and who do sabr wa dhannu wa dhannu qad kudibu ja'ahum nasra at that time when all hope was lost Allah's support came at that time and see just the loss of everything they have got but they are doing shukr the people of Gaza and they say you want to go to Jannah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So again with the South Manchester Muslim Walking Group, Alhamdulillah, an amazing walk. Uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, in the nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, prayed together, talked about many good projects and issues, wonderful people. Uh, just a reminder, uh, these days every Muslim or every human who's got a human heart left is thinking about the people of Gaza, Palestine and Gaza. And we are seeing and we are witnessing images which is unprecedented. Uh, in the human history, there has been great genocides and massacres and catastrophes, but not like this one, which is in front of the camera and children are being killed and slaughtered and sniped with precise snipers and uh, villages and homes have been destroyed and tents of refugees being burnt and those people who claim to be in the height of civilization and the custodians of international human rights law and human rights law are always they're bragging about human rights they are the ones who are behind this and they are constantly sending consignments of lethal bombs which are killing children women and unarmed civilians so what is in there for many people are disturbed many people are developing anxieties dr amir sahib is with us uh what we always think like helpless the um, what umma can do some one thing we should remember that the science and the sunnah of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been following since the inception of this world is of tribulations so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings upon tribulations to his loved ones and those tribulations has many other purposes Allah says in the Quran wala nabluwannakum bi shay'in min al-khawfi wal ju'i wa naqsi min al-amwali wal anfusi wal thamarat will bring upon you test uh, of loss of life loss of wealth loss of children uh, loss of food insecurity everything wa bashir as-sabirin and give glad tidings to those who have patience and who do sabr and at it at times when the prophets were there we don't have a prophet here but times when the prophets here the tribulations were so bad that even the prophets they they thought that they would lose hope so at the end of surah al-yusuf there's a ajeeb verse in the ayah allah says hatta idha sta'asa ar-rusul wa dhannu annahum qad qudibu the calamity the catastrophes the aggression from the enemies and from the tyrants of the time were so lethal that the people and even the prophet what about to lose hope allah say istay asar rusul it was about to lose hope wa dhannu annahum qad qudi when the people thought that the whatever the prophet told them that the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala supports them allah comes up with the help with the nusra that was all a lie the sheer lie wa dhannu annahum qad qudi ja'ahum nasra at that time when all hope was lost allah's support came at that time fanu jiya man nasha and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala succeeded those who he wanted so my dear brothers number one we have to cling to the rahma of allah and the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and never lose hope because that's kufr she kufr to lose hope from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two these tribulations are for a greater purpose so one purpose the main human uh, mind and hearts are getting awakening the 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 condemnation of the more western liberal moral uh, i would say uh, statue which was made out of nothing is been shattered everyone 
from Belgium, from France, from Australia, from Austria, from the MPs, everyone, the human rights, all the human rights activists in the world, they are speaking against Israel. They are again speaking against the tyrants. They are speaking against those supporters. And they say, you have got no moral value or no moral authority left. They have been defeated morally. And the Ummah is united. The, I've never seen the Ummah so much united. The Ummah is united on one cause. Ummah is united. The boycott, the Ummah has done many times in this century. Many boycotts have been. No boycott has succeeded that as this boycott has been succeeded. Number four, the empathy, the, the anger and the zeal and to support each other. The Ummah is developing by seeing these pictures. I mean, every night I go to X Twitter, especially because this is clean and it comes up with all pictures. All other social media platforms are mostly censored. I mean, children, three, four years age. My, 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 my little uh, uh, daughter, she's three years. I was imagining that she is carrying a water container and she's standing in the line for the water. And a six year old girl is actually shooting a three-year-old sister whose whole family has been killed and people with their four, five, six children have been killed and devastated and still they are standing there and say we won't bow to the tyrant. That's something, you know, commitment. That's something we learn from, learn from the people of Gaza and that's the minimum we should be doing. What we should be doing, we should be getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should develop patience. We should have act, act, actually thank and shukr for what Allah is giving and blessing we especially be people living in the West, especially people living in the developed Muslim countries, Muslim liver. What kind of blessing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them and see just the loss of everything they have got, but they are doing shukr, the people of Gaza, and they're saying, we want to go to Jannah. And last night, Oman, I was crying to two, two uh, little girls, seven, eight years, something like that. And they were in a very casual tone. They were saying that we want to go out to our Baba. And the interviewer asked, why, why is your Baba? He said, he's in Jannah, he's in paradise. She said, why you want to go to paradise? He said, there's nothing left in the dunya. We want to go to paradise. And isn't that our last home, which we all Muslim believe we have to go? So we prepare for the paradise. And whatever support we can do. Just yesterday, the Londoners and the British people, they gathered in London, Australia, Japan, everywhere in the world, Muslim, non-Muslim, even Jews, even Holocaust survivors, their children, they are gathering for this sheer... Uh, violation of human rights and inhumanity and a massacre and genocide. What we have to do that not to like, give this cause. Play your part. Let this cause be alive and tell everybody who's right, who's wrong. And what we, me as a little Muslim, everyone can do something with his own circle. Just keep it doing. Cling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's hope and a time will come inshallah when we will be successful if we are true believers in kuntum mu'mineen if we are so we try to be true believers jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh